Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm gonna let everyone have a minute to get on, so if you wanna watch, this is gonna be a great video for any of you who are considering getting into real estate. I'm um, gonna go over 10 different pointers, things that work for me. I'm certainly not going to cover everything, because um, it's a lot to cover, um, especially when you're experiencing it and going through it. It can seem like a lot at once. So if you're one of the people who ask me all the time, Tim, I want to be a realtor. What do I need to do? Here's just a little bit of wisdom that I hope you take away. Like I said, if it works for you, it does. If it doesn't, then that's okay too. But if we can get you pointed in the right direction, that would be awesome as well. I also want to mention that, you know, something special about this job is it's, you know, I honestly feel the most free in my life while I'm simultaneously more committed to things than I ever have been in my life. Um, it still provides me, you know, a little flexibility to kind of do what I want and enjoy my life a little bit more, which was the whole reason into getting into this is because I wanted to find a way that I could love my life and help the community a little bit more. Real estate agents do report some of the highest job satisfactions as well. So once you hit your flow, first year can be very stressful, but once you hit your flow, you really start just chugging along. Um, I just like to ask everyone just to keep in mind if you are considering getting into this industry that you have to realize that you are changing people's lives. You are literally, for some people, it's their biggest assets. Or one, of their, or one of their biggest assets. So you have to take a lot of pride in that, in what you do, and you need to do a good job. And when you don't know the answer to the questions, you need to find someone to get an answer because you have a lot of responsibility in your hands. But don't let that intimidate you, you'll learn. So my first piece of advice is find a great school to go to. There's a lot of online-based schools that didn't work for me. They tend to be the most economic decision, um, choice way to go with that, but I'm more of an in-person learner. So I actually prefer to go into class. So I prefer Gold Coast schools. Um, I did Broward College for my initial license. Um, had a great instructor, but I probably wouldn't go that route again. Um, so highly recommend Gold Coast for their online or in person. They're a little pricier than others, but the quality's good. While you're in that class, make sure and do all the little highlights in the book because those are gonna be the answers to your test at the end. Not your state exam though. Um, and do your post license immediately. George Henner, I gotta thank you for this one. I did not listen to this. Um, I got a little more experience boots on the ground until I did, but that class would have been invaluable for me to have earlier on. So passing the exam, you know, obviously everyone studies a little bit different. For me, it was YouTube. Um, prep agent on YouTube, he's freaking awesome. He will get you through all of it and you will be super prepared. I also do flashcards. I think I had a stack of flashcards about that big. And that was just for my, my license, um, my first license. Um, <laughs> school teaches you nothing, though. So make sure, pass your class. Um, but all your learning's really going to be done when you jump into the field. field. Um, real estate, you're going to learn something new every day. That's one of the great things about the job. That's one of the nerve-wracking things about the job because some of the times those lessons are hard-earned. Um, but if you... Take as, get as much education as you can. Take those additional classes that your brokerage offers. Um, do stuff through your board. Then go to different events. You're going to learn a lot, and you're going to be ahead of those potential pitfalls. Um, obviously, an important element is find an excellent brokerage to work with. Look, for me, it was really a vibe thing. I started out at Cobalt Banker. I was very happy there. They provided a lot of excellent education. Um, but you also need to find a brokerage with a great broker as well. So for me, having a person that's, if I need to have an issue 11 o'clock at night because real estate does not sleep, then I know Patricia is going to be there for me. So that was something really important to me as well. So just go somewhere that's going to provide you the education, the support, and that you vibe with. Um, the other route, you, well, you're going to have to join a brokerage anyway, but once you're in a brokerage, you can make the decision to be an independent agent or you can be a, on a team. For me, I started on, out on a team. I started with the Gary Lanham Group, had a great experience with them. Um, most vital about that was the fact I had someone I could go to when I had questions, because I landed my first contract right away, right away, had no clue what I was doing. So to have Gary there to help me, thank you, Gary. I very much appreciate it. Um, but there's some things to look out for in a team. So a team should be providing you leads. Um, so for a new realtor, that can be a valuable. So ask questions to your team leader, see what that process is like. 
Um, as far as question goes, you know, whose name is going to be on the signs? Is it going to be the team leader? Is it going to be yours? Are you going to be the primary agent on the listing or are you going to be secondary? That can make the difference who gets that first phone call. So I highly recommend asking things like that. Also read over your agreements with your team closely. Should you have a falling out? Should it or just be time for you to leave and move on like it was for me? Um, knowing what in that was in that agreement proved invaluable to my experience. Sorry, I got a phone call. Um, find an excellent support system and stick with them. Um, I think one of the biggest things that made me successful so quickly is I really try to be personable with everyone. I try to show respect to everyone. Um, but I started reaching out to agents that I saw in the industry that were incredibly successful and wanted to be like them. Um, I still owe Sherry Pfeffer a coffee that I promised I would get her. But even without the coffee, she's been awesome. So find other agents, find attorneys, um, title agents, inspectors, lenders, mentors. It might take you a little while to find your group. Um, to find the people that you sync with and that's all right like I went through a couple different lenders and inspectors and things like that till I found the people that really vibe with me tend to vibe with my clients and that do a damn good job as well and be loyal to them because you're not always necessarily going to work with them but you're going to have questions about stuff um, when you don't know like I said ask out to someone else. Um, so make sure you treat your partners well. In fact, sometimes if you treat them really well and you wanna do a promotion, they'll chip in some money for that as well. Um, so growing your business, obviously this is a big one. This is the hardest thing if you're going to be a realtor. Um, look, there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, realist, you know, the, When you start, you're always gonna hear about people cold calling, you're gonna hear about door knocking and um, Sorry, got another call. You're gonna hear about door knocking. If that doesn't work for you, don't do it because that is a really quick way to start hating this job if you try to do it someone else's way. So make sure you are doing it your own way. My thing personally, I'm a social butterfly. Like, you know, I do things with good intentions, but they also tend to pay dividends. So I try to make a good impression on everyone I meet. Um, I try to attend parties, you know, make an impression, get people to know me. Oh, Tim, he's a great guy. You know, I always mention I'm a realtor because that conversation always goes up, but I never like dig into it hard because I feel like whenever someone is like, oh, you're a realtor, you're going to try to sell me a house. No, I'd much rather have a personal relationship with you. And if that goes over to business, that's fantastic as well. But I never beat anything down anyone's throats. Um, social media is also big for me. Look, I, I, I'm very good on Facebook. That's my medium. I find Facebook really helps me connect with my community in particular. Um, also, not the prettiest person, but I have a lot of good thoughts. I, at least I think I do. <laughs> so Facebook allows me a platform that I can post things like that. Um, but I know a lot of realtors who are making a killing off TikTok. If I had abs, I would be totally naked on Instagram promoting my real estate, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, just going back to basics, do something you love, do what you like to do, okay? Otherwise, you know, there's things like lead services. You can have your face on all the park benches, all the mailers in the world, um, but that leads me into one other thing. Um, so you need to find healthy ways to de-stress because, so I have anxiety, I have really bad anxiety. Most people would never know that. Um, but I do. Um, in your first year in this, you're like literally like, it's like trying to like plug a million holes. It's like trying to plug the hole in the wall of the Titanic sometimes because everything's just coming at you from all over the place and you don't know the answer. Um, so there's that support system again, but you need to find ways to de-stress that healthy. For a year, I turned into eating and I put on about 40 pounds and I'm still working on getting that off, but I notice how much better I feel and how much more competent I am in my job when I feel good about myself, the way I look. Um, it's a little easier to carry yourself tall and proud. So the final thing, number 10, you gotta stick with it. Just keep pounding. Like even if you're a year or two into it, things might slow down a little bit. They might take off like crazy. Not every year's gonna be a great year, but if you, you know, you believe in that, then they will be. And so far they have been. Um, be ethical. This is the biggest thing in our industry. And I think it's why some realtors are losing a lot of credibility for other realtors. There is a reason for realtors. We work hard for our money. Um, some of the things we deal with, you could not even possibly wrap your mind around until you're in that situation. But to those of you who are thinking about getting in this, do it from a place of love, a place of compassion, and 
be ethical and I assure you the paychecks are going to follow as well. Um, this is kind of unavoidable, but learn something new every single day, whether you like it or not. If you choose to be a real estate agent, you're going to be learning something new. So this by no means covered all of it. I have so much more I could possibly talk about. I could talk about all evening, but if you want to get in touch with me in particular, you're thinking about becoming a real estate agent, um, Pick my brain, you know, um, DM me on Instagram. You can Google me, my phone number is everywhere. At least I hope I'm the first one that comes up in Google when you write my name. So everyone, thank you so much for listening to me. I hope you have a wonderful night. And remember, if you're looking to buy or sell in Broward County, I or Palm Beach, I or Miami, <laughs> okay, all of them, I am your man and I'd appreciate the phone call. Thank you all so much, have a blessed day.